Let's take a look at Mahara. And um, for those of you that don't know um, what Mahara is, Mahara is a fully featured e-portfolio system. And it operates as a separate website, completely separate from Moodle. But um, through the wonders of technology, Mahara and Moodle um, go together um, through um, a single sign-on process, which allows your students and users from Moodle to click on the Mahara ePortfolio link and they are magically transported to Mahara where they can begin building, storing, and creating ePortfolios. Um, until recently, um, they and it looks like February 10th here was when it was last released, um, they released these two, two new plugins, the Mahara Assignment Feedback and a Mahara assignment submission. Now what this does is it adds an extra feature to the standard Moodle assignment um, which allows students to submit portfolio pages. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like and then I'll walk you through how easy it is to set up and begin using. So this is our Moodle site and we have a, uh, this is Mahara, so you can seamlessly go back and forth between Moodle and Mahara, and we have students that um, are creating all kinds of pages here. You can see um, this is quite the uh, portfolio page here. Um, different uh, creative things, wow, that is... Uh, the student has a lot of information in there. So um, students can come over here, they can create these pages, and now with the release of this new plugin, you can add it as an assignment. So I have a Mahara assignment right here, and when you click on it, it opens this up, and the students would be able to click Add a Submission. Now what it does behind the scenes is it's going over to Mahara and it's saying here's the user that we have and what pages do they have available. And the student can preview them. So I can click on this uh, preview icon and it brings up my journaling uh, page that I created. I can also look at this one. This is very basic. I just did this for the test. So the student can click on the page they want to submit and click Save Changes. And now as the teacher, the teacher will come in, they'll be able to look at the page of the student, give that student a grade, and it will be returned to the student. So let's look at, uh, in the course, how does that look when you're trying to add a Mahara assignment? Like all things in Moodle, you click on Add an Activity or Resource, click on Assignment, and click Add. Give it a name. Maybe this is a medical issue page. Provide some instructions, turn it in. And you'll notice down here, Submission Types. We have online text, file submissions, or Mahara portfolio. So I click Mahara portfolio. If we had multiple portfolio sites connected, um, those would show up here. And then do you want to lock submitted pages? If you set it to yes, once the student submits the page, they cannot make changes or edit that page in Mahara until it is graded. Once it is graded, the student gets um, uh, access back to the page. The one uh, caveat here is uh, when you're doing the submission settings, the feedback types, you should do the Mahara feedback and click Save and Display. And we're right back to here. The student will be able to add a submission. They can pick their journal or page, click Save Changes, and it's been submitted. Now just to kind of test this out, let's go back to ePortfolio and I'll go to My Pages 
And here is the new Mahara page. I can't remember if I submitted journals or not. Edit this page. Maybe it wasn't this one. Maybe it was my Mahara page. Hmm. Oh, I might. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to show you the locking of the pages, and I remember I did not set it to lock the page. Um, so, as the teacher, you do have the option to lock or or not lock those pages when they submit them. Um, as you can see here, let's go to the Mahara assignment, and I'll edit the settings. And right here, lock submitted pages. I'll change that to yes and see what happens. It's good testing here, live on the video. So I've submitted this Mahara, a new Mahara page, and we will go back to Mahara. Hmm, well, maybe, uh, well, that's how it goes, I guess. Something new, I just installed it, I hadn't tested that feature. And uh, it could be because I changed the assignment um, before before I um, I didn't have it set to lock. So um, that's a real world example of what might happen. Always test your plugins thoroughly. But um, we're pretty excited about this new feature. It will further integrate Mahara with Moodle. We think this is an exciting opportunity for teachers and students and one more reason why we like Moodle a whole lot. Thank you for watching and um, uh, enjoy Moodle.